What direction do you guys think that jazz is going? How do we balance keeping the tradition alive with advancing the art form? Okay, I, I don't believe that an art form can be advanced. Okay, I'm gonna start with that. Yeah. So what I want you to do is go back and listen to a piece from the 16th, 15th century by Palestrina. It's called Pope Marcellus Mass. <laughs> it just happens to be the name. <laughs> M-A-R-C-E-L-L-U-S. <laughs> it just happens to be the name. Think about great artists like Bach, Palestrina, think of people like Louis Armstrong. No one has advanced from this person. It's because the technology of our soul doesn't change that much. We do different things technically, we play different styles, and sometimes those styles are imitated by lots of people, and that gives the illusion that there is an advance. We do different things because there are different things to do. So rather than think about it as advancing the art form, it would be how would I add my own personality to it, or how would I invent things that would add to the continuum of the music. That way you're not put into an unnatural relationship with the past. When you have a natural relationship to the past, you, almost, you will almost always embrace ignorance because you can't live in the past. So when your relationship to your father, your mother, your grandparents, when it is unnatural, you're gonna choose yourself over them. It's just natural. Don't get into that relationship. They were here and you're here. They had things and you had things. First, you have a genetic inheritance. There's nothing you can do about that. Most of the times we only think about that when we're sick. Oh, do you have a history of cancer in your family? Well, I don't know, let me check. That's how music is. You all have inherited the entire tradition of music. You don't have to be in any unnatural relationship to it. We play Duke Ellington's music. We have 10 arrangers up here and composers. We play all of our original music and we've been doing it for 20 years. But because we as a nation have a problem dealing with generations, and that's just recent. That's since we started really aggressively selling to young people that the idea of being young means something. That started in the 1950s. Look back and you'll notice it. If you, I, I always notice when I go in the, in the Cracker Barrel restaurants or something, sometimes they have like a class from 1913 of high school students. They don't look like teenagers. They just look like people. You know what I'm saying? There's no one opinion, this is my opinion, but there are many others. Does anybody want to counterstate it? We can't agree with that, basically. I mean, it's not, why would you be against your father or against your grandmother or against your, we're going to kill your great-grandparents because you have a baby? Why are you going to do that? And we do that many times. And w the way we do it is through ignorance. You know? Think about, think about what it took to get you here. It wasn't just you and five of your friends. You know what I mean? I'm with you. You want me to say something else? No. I talked too long anyway. I'm trying I to think stop. I covered it. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs>